What? It's being recorded. All right. Oh, iPhone is here. I am. Sorry, before we start officially, I'm kind of eating lunch a little bit. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Let me see. Kyle! Hello. Hello. All right, my stuff seems to be working. Can you hear me, Hayam? Can you hear me? Yes, now yes. <laughs> yeah, how are you? I'm okay, just hungry. Uh, it, I'm busier than before. <laughs> oh, that's it's I know. I know, it's different now. Yes, yeah, very different. Yes. Mm. Be finishing up lunch while I'm waiting for more people to show up. Okay, I want I want I want to call Nada to show her how she come to sure to to, to Zoom. This one. Okay. Kyle, how you doing, man? Good. How are you? You know, I'm doing okay. I keep uh, asking that question. I'm like, I really shouldn't ask that question anymore. <laughs> yeah. We're doing the best we can. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's been pretty boring last two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My God. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing how exciting it is just to walk around the freaking neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. I like drove around just because I was bored. And yeah, gas is yeah. so cheap, so it's like. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know. I know. I go to the gas station. I'm like, what? What year is it? <laughs> yeah. You gotta you gotta start your car every now and again. I tomorrow I'm gonna hit the road for a little bit. Make sure it keeps running. Cool. So we're just hanging out, waiting for other people to show up, and... All right, sounds good. Here, you guys, go ahead. This is gonna help me um, take roll. Just, oh, can both of you guys just in the chat type here? Hi, um, can you change your, let me see. I'm gonna rename you. I don't know if it shows up on your side. Um, hi, um, can you hear me? Can you, can you, uh, do you see the chat? Oh, she's left. She's like, yeah, oh, this guy's talking to me. I gotta get out of here. All right. Kyle, you were not here yesterday, right? Right. Do you see the video from yesterday? Uh-uh. Okay, so it's up there if you want to look at it. On YouTube? Yeah. All right. And um, if you go to Canvas, I don't know when the last time you went there was, there's a review sheet and assignments. Okay. Uh, where did that? It's called Section 4, 5 to 5, 6 Review. And I'm going to post um, today, I got the first part of it finished. I'm going to post a video of the solutions to that. All right. Oh. On assignments? I am as back. Are you going to put all of our homework on the calendar? Yeah, I'm going to try to start doing that. Um, okay. And then that's where you're going to upload uh, assignments. Because then I could use the built-in grader in canvas so it just makes it easier yeah okay 
You said four five. Chapter four and chapter five. Yeah. So you just upload homework there. You know. On assignments. Make sure. Um, so not, oh, four five to five six. Yeah, you see that one, the Math ninety section four five five six review. Yeah. That's the key. That's what test three practice test three would have been. Okay. Now we're not going to do any more tests except for the final. Okay. And you want us to print print this out and do it or just do it on it's up to you, buddy. I'm gonna post the solutions. So it's just like a practice test. You can do it and not do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Did you get the updated um um the updates to the syllabus? Uh probably not. I email those out. Hey guys, hi um and Leonel. Can you guys just type here in chat? You see where the chat is? Because I can have a chat log. It'll help me keep um, attendance. Hi, Young. Oh. She's gone. Okay. She's muted. I don't know if she keeps leaving because... She thinks her camera's not working or something. Oh. oh. All right. Yeah, my sleep schedule's all whack. I was going to bed at like three in the morning, waking up at like one. <laughs> I'm glad you got up early today. Yeah, I've been trying to get back on a better schedule. Yeah, I feel, I don't know, I'm like more busy than ever with the way things really? are going it's insane. Trying to keep up with everything, it's insane. Yeah, but it's I more work better. on both ends. Huh? Yeah. It needs more work on both ends. This is why I never wanted to teach hard. online. It's, it's an insane amount of work. People don't yeah. realize. Yeah, yeah. I have a, my communications teacher is not really good at it. Like in class, her, like when we do assignments, she'd have this standard like, list of things we had to do for our presentations and stuff but it's like it's so poorly organized and it's so much of unnecessary words in there it's like a uh, oh, information man. overload and she does the same thing so it's even harder when you're at home because you can't ask her questions you know or i guess you can email her but it's like i don't know it's not good so gotcha. i don't know i i don't know relative to anybody else how what I'm doing, how it is. I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm just doing what I think will work. Yeah. It's oh, just harder. Cool. More self-discipline. Yeah, self your, your background has like overtaken you. Oh. That's neat. No, I kinda, it's kind of, it's like a predator thing. It's like a... Uh, maybe. Hello, everybody. Um, Hello. Hi. You see. Can everybody here who hasn't done this yet, just type here in the chat. That'll help me keep attendance better. Just in the chat. If you can't see the chat, then you go down and you click on where it says chat at the bottom. Can you just take a minute right now and, and, and type here in, in chat? Just, I'll do it, I'll get it started. Here, I'm here, there we go, okay. Um, Okay, I think I've got everybody so far. I'm curious. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I closed it. I want to see who's here now that was not here yesterday. I love you more today than yesterday. Uh, let's see. Oops, shit. So, Hayam is not uh, going to make it? Is she here? She's not here yet. Hopefully that gets figured out. All right. Yesterday I had, yeah, a third of the class. Oh boy, okay. I like it. All right, guys, 
Um, it's about that time. So I want to see if anybody, I know at least one person is here that was not here yesterday. So just a quick reminder for everybody, make sure you get the syllabus updates. I, I still have to remember, I kept notes for myself and I don't think I referenced them after I took them. Let me see. Oh yeah, so on Canvas, I gotta put the syllabus updates. I'm gonna look at the grade thing, the, uh, the online grade thing on Canvas. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. We'll see. I know everybody wants me to and we'll see if I like it or not. Um, let me see, what else was I gonna do? Oh, Kayla's here. Kayla's here. So I will put those syllabus updates on Canvas. I haven't done that yet. I need to. Um, let me think. I put up on Canvas. Everybody's got the, the review sheet, right? Maybe. Do you guys remember the SNO stuff over here? Yeah, I, I got it. You got it? OK. Um, there we go. Somebody does. Eileen remembers yes, no. Kyle's coming back. All right. Let me see who else is here. All right. If you just got here and you haven't said here in the chat yet, just take a second and write here in the chat. Because then I can download the chat transcript and it'll be my attendance sheet. Um, I like it. Okay. Oh, Savannah, I thought I'd let you in. What happened to you, Savannah? My uh, don't worry. I my understand. microphone. Don't worry. My settings. Oh my gosh. What? Is it gonna be making those noises because we're so close? <laughs> <laughs> you just mute yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna mute okay. everybody. Everybody's muted now. <laughs> um. Okay. So if you have not yet you will want to go to Canvas and download the um, review sheet. Um, oh, thank you, Kayla. All nice and italicized, neato. Um, the quiz tomorrow, and you're, so if you weren't here yesterday, you know, you're, you're finding out there's a quiz tomorrow. Um, the quiz tomorrow is gonna be on four, five to five, one. I had to go look at it to remember. Um, let me put it down here in the chat and then I just gotta remember to email everybody for the two thirds of the class that didn't show yesterday. Um, quiz on Wednesday on uh, four five to five one. Bam. Uh, and real quick, another rundown, the way the quiz is gonna work. Tomorrow we're gonna meet, we're gonna do a little Zoom thing and then after the Zoom thing's over, I'm gonna put on Canvas the quiz and then you have until midnight that day on Wednesday to turn it back in. I like it. Um, and I've already forgotten what I said uh, for the next quiz after that. Have I announced the next quiz after that? Man, I gotta keep notes. All right, let me put this in the chat. Um, uh, let's see. It really should be Thursday. All right, I don't see any reaction to that, so I'm gonna make it Thursday. Um, <laughs> on, uh, you want it to be on Monday? All right, let me see. Uh, I can be a democracy for a minute. Let me see how this feels. Uh, yeah, uh, somebody's already voted. Who would rather the quiz be on Monday? Yes, Alex is, is, uh, is joining the party here. Uh, that's what I said, Alex. Now I'm letting people vote. <laughs> Anybody want to vote or you want me just to, uh, I see some hands raised. Well, let's use yes and no. Let's try this again. If you want the quiz Monday instead of Thursday, hit yes. If you're not sure where yes is, let me know. All right. 
I've gotten three votes and they're all yeses. Uh, so I'm gonna assume everybody else has decided to not vote, which is something you can do in a democracy. So uh, let's make the quiz on Monday. And that'll be on the rest of chapter five, which namely is 5.2 through 5.6, I think it is. Is that the last section in five? I don't remember. Okay, all right. So both of those quizzes are gonna work the same way. Um, on tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to start getting into the next chapter just to keep on track. Ah, uh, Nada made it. Come on in here. Um, today, I really wanna focus on two things. Uh, any specific questions people have? And then I thought maybe, I, I started doing the video for the um, solutions for the handout, um, the, the review handout that's up on Canvas. Um, but I thought maybe, I wanna see what you guys feel about this. If we can do the, the um, how can I do this? Oh, I got, where's my phone at? Oh yeah. If we could do the last problem. So has everybody got that review sheet that I put up on the canvas, on the, on the internets? Let me pull up the book real quick, you know, or, you know. Some of this, uh, hit no if you have not yet gotten that review sheet. I got it. So all you have to do is go to Canvas and, and get it. It's that simple. Uh, let me know, has anybody gone to Canvas and they don't see it? Let's try it that way. Okay, nobody's saying that they've gone to Canvas and don't see it. I haven't two, looked at it. That's all right, Alex. <laughs> two sheets. Say again, sorry? It's uh, two sheets. Two sheets. I, I can't remember. Um, it's just the, the one called, it's, it's the one called Section 4.5 to 5.6 Review. Yes. yes. I like it. So the very last problem on that review sheet refers to problems in the uh, book. And they are the word problems in the book. Is everybody with me? You guys doing all right? You know, relatively all right. Um, yes. So the last problem on the review sheet says, oh, here it is. Uh, page 670, 399 to 405. That's the last problem on the review sheet. So one thing I was thinking I could do today is to do those now. So I don't have to try to make the video. Here's something nice. You ready? I, I, I'm joining the 20th century and it's already the 21st. I know. So I, I said that on purpose. Um, I figured out how to do the laptop uh, video screen capture. So what I did for the uh, solutions to that review sheet is I had the review sheet up and I was actually doing it and talking about it, uh, typing things out instead of me writing it. So you have a good chance to be able to read it. Um, instead of, you know, whatever you call what I produce when I try to write. Um, so I'm going to put that video up. Does anybody have any specific questions about uh, homework or technical stuff about the class or anything else? Uh, raise your hand if you do. I'm going to mute everybody again. All right, Yangsha, unmute yourself. What you got? Where'd you go? There you are. Yes, Yansha. Are you typing it? Are you? You can type it, or you can unmute yourself and, and ask me, Yansha. Are you talking? I can't hear you. Cause, all right, let me unmute you. What happened? I don't have the power anymore. Uh, I'll type typing. Hey, okay. Sorry, Yansha. Go ahead. Type. So while she's typing, if there's no real other questions, I'm going to do the, um, the last problem on the review sheet uh, up here with you guys um, out, of the, uh, out of the book. Okay, here we go. 
Section 5-1, number 70. Oh, okay. Did, did, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no, yeah, there's right. no number. I, I know, I know. Let me, let me talk about it. Uh -oh. um, was it, uh, let me see. If you watch the video I made on section 5-1, I corrected, was it section 5? I thought it wasn't, maybe it was. Um, yeah, I corrected the homework uh -huh. uh, for that. Uh, yeah, I remember. This is a um, five section five, but five, five uh, section five or four. Yes, five. Yes, five five. Oh yeah, it looks like five one homework is is. Is, is the entire chapter five wrong? Let's see. No, it's just, oh, I see. Yeah, five one, just ignore the end of it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think those are left over from the last textbook. I know I corrected five five homework, you're right, but I didn't yeah, notice five, five, five one homework was messed up too. Okay. So in case uh, people have obviously definitely done five one homework, I know you have, and maybe you just remain quiet about why the homework was assigned that wasn't in section 5.1. So just stop at number 70. Um, okay. Oh, I had people drop off the boat. Now I'm letting them back on the boat. Let's see. All right, anybody else have a question before we do the last part of the review? Anybody? All right, I'm not seeing any questions. So let's do the last part of the review, which is uh, page 670. Here we go. These are the word problems that are associated with system of equations is the last section, I think, in chapter four. Uh, let's see. You want line? Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Or chapter five, sorry. Here we go. Um, All right, so it's in the section called practice test. So I'm referencing right now the review sheet that I posted on Canvas. And the very last problem says, page 670, 399 to 405. Okay, please let me know. Is anybody not with me what I'm talking about right now? Okay, so for example, the very first problem, let me see, so high tech I'm gonna be right now, says, that's number 399, the sum of two numbers is negative 24. One number is 104 less than the other. Find the numbers, okay. So, these are a little bit different from word problems we did earlier because now you're allowed to use two variables. So when they tell me something like, um, the sum of two numbers is negative 24. So this is number 399, page 670. Sum of two numbers is negative 24. So one number plus some other number is negative 24. Okay. Let me know if you can't see that too well. I think I got my lighting as, as good as it's gonna get, so I'm not even sure why I'm asking. Um, I love my little workspace, it's, it's crazy. And then the second situation they say, the second relationship is one number is 104 less than the other number. One number, doesn't matter which one, one number is 104 less than the other one. I like it. Now let me throw this out to you guys. 
the first step in a word problem is just setting up the equation, right? I mean, you have to figure out what the variables are, get the equation set up. The second step really is how do you solve it? So I've written down the two relationships that they told me. Can somebody give me an idea what method I should use to solve this? And if you're saying it to me, most of you guys are muted at the moment. I like Rodrigo out in the backyard, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, I got to keep working out or else Coach yells at me. Oh, okay. I understand that, man. Um, oh, Jamie, what you got? Substitution? Yes. All right, no. It doesn't really matter, but this is, this is beautifully set up for substitution, right? Because so, I know that X is this. So therefore, I can just plug in y minus 104. So if I rewrite the first one, x, but x is this. So x is this plus y is negative 24. And then that's a beautiful equation. There's only one letter in it. I'm way back in time now. I know how to solve this. Vegas. I know how to solve this. y and y is 2y. If I add 104, I get 80. Let me stop for a second. This should be the relatively easy part, right? Solving the thing, what you got to set up. And so y is 40, right? Divide by 2. And then how do I figure out x is? Well, I know x is whatever y is minus 104. So therefore, x would be 40 minus 104. Can you guys still see that? Yeah. x would be negative 64. All right, coolness. Cool, yes? What's up, Kyle, you all right? All right, Alex says, good. Let me know if... Uh, there was something up there you didn't quite follow. Everybody's okay? Okay. I'm going to take that as an okay. Hi, am. You good? Yes. Okay. I'm going to mute everybody again. Ah, ah, ah. All right. So I'm going to take this away. So again, this is just to really, this is what I hate about this. Um, this is the last problem on that review paper that's up on Canvas. I know I've said that a few times already. Just one second. What's up? Oh. One, one second. I will be posting this video too. X equal what? I can't see the number. Down here? Yes. X Negative equal. 64. Negative 64. Yep. Okay. I think I set this up for maximum awkwardness as I do. All right. So the next one, uh, 400. Uh, Ramon wants to plant cucumbers and tomatoes in his garden, which more people are doing now, just to be ready for the current apocalypse. He has room for 16 plants, and he wants to plant three times as many cucumbers as tomatoes. All right. So again, we still, I know that there are people that uh, just automatically freeze when there's a word problem, no matter what the hell it is. But the very first thing I'm worried about is got nothing to do with math. What is it? What are the two unknowns in this problem? This is number 400 in the practice test. And where am I at? I don't know. Is this chapter five? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's chapter five. It's page 670. Um, what would the two unknowns be? So it's the problem at the top of the screen there. I don't even know if you can see that. You should be able to access your book, I would think. So Ramon wants to plant cucumbers and tomatoes. He has room for 16 plants. Don't come at me, by the way, my little amateur gardeners, and tell me about what radius cucumber and tomato plants need. Let's just assume they need the same. 
Um, he has room for 16 of these things. So the two things I don't know are the number of cucumber plants and tomatoes, it's tomato plants, whatever the hell you call them. Now this is gonna be shocking, but I'm gonna call the number of cucumber C and the number of tomatoes T. Because I'm crazy. Now the big thing with these problems is there are two main ideas, right? Can somebody tell me the two main ideas that are in this problem? Uh, there's two equations I'm gonna be able to make. What ideas in the problem are they related to? So he has room for 16 plants and he wants to plant three times as many cucumbers as tomatoes. Write that. Yes, ma'am, Jamie. C plus T equals 16 for the first equation. Say it one more time. C plus T equals 16 for the first equation. All right, good. Time. So almost always one of the equations is gonna be what I call the total equation. The two variables, whatever they represent, together make a total of something. Does that always happen? No. Does it very often happen? Yes, um, like it just did. And then the next equation is, is kind of like a pseudo math equation. He wants to plant three times as many cucumbers as tomatoes. So somebody else, can somebody else figure out what the equation would be related to that? He wants to plant three times as many cucumbers as tomatoes. <laughs> Rodrigo's down there working out. I think I just got mail. Anybody? Anybody? So he wants to plant. So which one is there more of? Cucumbers or tomatoes? If he wants to plant three times as many cucumbers as tomatoes. Which one is there more of? Cucumbers. More cucumbers. I like it. Eileen, not quite. Not quite, Eileen, because the 16 is a separate idea. The 16 is how many total of each. Right? So here's the thing. The second equation is just directly, he wants to plant three times as many cucumbers as tomatoes. So how many cucumbers? Three times. Three, three times. Tomatoes. Now again, so the first thing you had to worry about is the same thing you had to worry about before. What, what are the variables and what equation do they create? In this case, there's two separate ideas. Very often there could be a total and then like a, a, a total amount and a total amount of money or a total amount and some direct relationship or it could be anything, but there's two separate ideas. Now, how do I use those two ideas together? Again, what method does this set up for? What method is this set up for? It's just screaming to be done with what? What, what are the three methods we've learned for solving systems of equations? We got substitution, which we just used, right? On the other problem. We got graphing, graphical method. And elimination. Elimination, I love it. So substitution, elimination, and graphical method. I almost will never use graphical method in the wild because normally the graphs are gonna be gross to some degree. Um, but what method is this just screaming to be done? I know that C is 3T, so how can I rewrite the first equation? I'm gonna use Substitution. I know that C is this. So wherever I see C, I could put a 3T. Plus T. I really want you guys to see that. I don't know how well you guys 
understand that. But this equation tells me that C is 3T. So how can I rewrite the first equation? Well, I see a C. Well, what can I put in pl its place? 3T. Plus T. Plus T. Equals, equals 616. So I just rewrite this equation using the extra information that I know. Yes. So somebody told me, I'm trying to figure out a murder case. And like I saw Frankie and Two-Tone Billy down by the dock. And you're like, who the shit is Two-Tone Billy? Oh, that's, that's uh, William Barcroft's nickname. All right, all right. So now I know that Billy, Two-Tone Billy, equals William Barcroft. Okay, that's a strange as all hell example. But it's exactly what I'm talking about. If there's an, something I don't know, but I know another name for it, I can use the other name. Which is that? Okay. So then I can solve this pretty simple, right? So I plugged in C, it's 3T, I plugged it in. Now I can solve this. 4T is 16. I'm getting to the bottom here. Divide by 4, I get T is 4. What does that mean? How many times he gonna plant? How many what? How many what plants? How many? How many? How many? How many tomatoes should how he plant? How many tomato plants? Yes. Four yeah. tomato plants. So how many cucumber plants? C plus T is sixteen. Yeah. Um, four. T is four. T plus four equals sixteen. Say again. You're gonna do the another equation, yeah, right? Yeah, or you can do it here even. Yeah. C is four, so C yeah. must be. It's gonna be um C plus four equals sixteen. You can do it right here even. Is even better. C yeah. equals three times T, so C is twelve. Yes. Twelve cucumber plants. Too many words for me. Okay. Can you see all that? All right. Woo! <laughs> Rodrigo, is that you live or is that a picture? That's got to be a picture. That's freaking me out. Okay. Um, so, next problem. I cannot see that. T equal four. <laughs> Say one more time. Yeah, yeah. I, because I can't see the. Yeah, thank you. Sure. T equal. Oh, shit. People keep getting out of the room. Let me just do that. Sorry, guys. I didn't notice some of you guys got knocked out somehow. I, I eliminated the waiting room. So if you get kicked out again, you should come right back in. Okay. Um, all right. How are we on that one? That one's not too evil yet. All right, you guys try 401. This is such high tech, I know. You guys remember what complementary means? Yes, I think 90. Yes, good. 90? Add up to be 90. I like it. Yes. Has everybody got that? <laughs> I don't want to sit here like this all day. All right. So, so two angles are complementary. The measure of the larger one is six more than twice the smaller one. So right there, you know in English what the two unknowns are. You always want to use the exact same language that the problem uses, so you can keep track of what's what. So I've got a larger angle and a smaller angle. Let me see if these other markers work better. There you are. Let's see what you can do. You're taking too long for me to work with, so you better do some good shit. Get away. All right. Um, what do you want to call the larger angle? Six more than twice the measure. No, 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 no. 
I don't care about the rest of it. I've identified in English what the parts are. Now you just got to give them variable names. What do you want to call the larger angle? Six. No, 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 no. Stop looking at the problem. Stop looking at the problem. I've identified in English the two parts of the problem. X. I love you. So <laughs> L. Or L, right? So let's use L. Now, I can't use S for the smaller because my S's look like fives. And I know that everything I write doesn't look like what it's supposed to be. So don't come at me with that. Let me call the smaller one uh, T for type. Right? OK. You can use whatever letters you want to. It's just kind of smart to use a letter that directly relates to what it physically is. That's why I use C for cucumbers and T for tomatoes on the last problem. Um, what can I write for the very first sentence? Two angles are complementary. What, what uh, equation does that lead me to? Oh, Jamie, I'm sorry. Can't raise your hand anymore. Um, yes. So the very first equation I can write, well, you're no better at all, are you? Get away from me. Let me try green out. The two angles, if they are complementary, they add to be 90. That one sucks too. Can you guys see that all right? Okay. Um, then it says the measure of the larger one. Now this is going to be, this should be relatively simple now, right? The larger one is six more than twice the smaller one. How do I write that? Yeah, the larger one is six more than twice the smaller one. So that's what I call pseudomath. That's like somebody reading an equation directly. So it's not really a pure translation. It's just, I just have to write the, the equation that they're reading. Um, and then of course, now there seems to be a theme on these first three, which method makes the most sense to use here? I pretty much just gave it away. Ooh, I like it. A little rum and coke there. Makes the class go better. Um, I can use substitution because I know L is this. I know L is this. So I can rewrite the first equation. Instead of writing L, I'm going to write 2T plus 6 plus T. The biggest mistake I'm, I see on substitution is somebody writes 2T plus 6, but then they forget the plus T. They kind of like just lose it. But you have to find L, you have to find plus T, and then you have to find equals 9. Bam! So I've got the whole equation rewritten. Now finish that out. I'm tired. Straight T. No. No, no. Finish it out on your own. Don't say anything. I got one more here today than I did yesterday. I guess that's an improvement. I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> no, no, I'm not picking on you. I mean, I had 10 yesterday, and today I've got 11. <laughs> Kyle. All right. You should be done by now. 2t and t is 3t. If I subtract 6, I get 84. So that's 28, right? Yeah, Jeff. OK. And then, I don't know, can you guys see that? Yeah. I know t is 28. That means that the smaller angle is 28 degrees. Don't forget the units, or else Jeff gets to be an asshole and say 28 cucumbers. Um, how do I figure out the larger angle? Well, I know this. Okay, it's gonna be. Right? The larger one is twice the smaller one plus. plus 60. Twice 28 is 56 plus 60 is 116. So the larger one's 116. Is that right? That looks wrong, Jeff. Yeah, what are you done? Plus 28. 
That's not true. What have I done wrong? Hmm. I got that too. Let's see, T is 28. Oh, oh, I'm silly. I don't know where I got 60 from. It's six. Holy crap. That's 62. Okay. 28's fine, Jeff. Now, now, real quick, how could I tell that quickly? How could I tell that I was completely wrong? Because what's supposed to happen? What are these two supposed to do? They're supposed to add to be 90. Yeah. Yes? So there's no way one of them was 116. So I knew right there I did something wrong, and I had written 60 instead of 6 there. Yes. I love it. So I wish I could say I planned that mistake. No, that was a completely honest mistake. But the thing is, you have to know how to make sure what you get makes physical sense. That's the first level of check. I didn't actually check to make sure the numbers worked. I just said, whoa, it can't be 116. I, I could just tell right there it was wrong. Okay. So sometimes I get students say, well, that's what I got. So that's what I put down. I'm like, so your lemonade stand made $18 billion over the last hour. I think that's a problem. I think that's a mistake. So, I mean, make sure your answer makes physical sense. Um, okay. So, continuing on. Any questions on that one? Three. Is it two? So you to see everything you need to see? Yeah. 20, yeah. Yes. Okay. That one was interesting because you do have to know what the word complementary means. Right? I, I don't know that two. What is it? Say again, Number sorry. two. Number two. Number two, two. plus six. So, I'm sorry? Two, number two. This one? Here. Yeah. No. What about it? Before 28, the right side. Two yes. times 28, yeah. It's two, two times, two. okay. Right. Yes, because I, 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 yeah. yes, I don't see the, the point. <laughs> okay. The time. Okay. All right. Thank you. I got it. The, the next one is a long one. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's see. Uh, okay. This is number 402. Hopefully some of you guys have your book open, either on your computer or physically. Mm -hmm. um, so this is 402 on page 670. Um, where'd it go? Here it is. Stop doing that phone. On Monday, Lance ran for 30 minutes and swam for 20. His oh. fitness app told him he burned 610 calories. All right. On Wednesday, uh, Mr. Overachiever, uh, he burned 695 calories when he ran for 25 minutes and swam for 40 minutes. How many calories did he burn for one minute of running and how many calories did he burn for one minute of swimming? Holy shit. So that's a long one and, oh, I see. Yeah, you could, I mean, sorry. Um, that's a long one, but again, the very first place you start is you look at the questions. How many calories for running? Okay, so now, and how many calories for swimming? So I know what my, in English, what my unknowns are. Is everybody ready? Okay. So number 402, I know that my two unknowns are uh, number of calories burned per minute for swimming and running. Okay. This thing is not working as well as I hoped it would, but oh well. Um, So even if you have no idea where the problem is going to lead to, it doesn't matter. You always start in the same place. What are my unknowns in English? Now let me give them math names. So not surprisingly, well, again, the letter S is, is bad for me. So I'm going to call this uh, W for wet or for the second letter and then R. Okay. And again, so this is what you do when you have a word problem, you read through it, you're like, I don't have a clue. 
Start with what the unknowns are. Right? Uh, now let's go back. On Monday, he ran for 30 minutes and swam for 20. So this is the number of calories he burns for running and swimming per minute. I didn't write that up here. So if he ran for 30 minutes, how many calories did he burn just from that? 16. No. No. 610 is running for 30 minutes and swimming for 20 minutes. I said, if he runs for 30 minutes, how many calories did he burn just from that? And some of you guys might look at me and say, <laughs> no, 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 careful, Savannah. I see what you're doing. I already know he burns our calories per minute. So if he runs for 30 minutes, how many total calories did he burn? If he burns five calories per minute running and he runs for 30 minutes, how many total calories? 90. Everybody's muted, by the way. So if you're talking to me, except for you, hi, I'm. <laughs> and Nada, you're not muted either. All right. We've seen this before. 30 minutes times R. Oh, I see. Young chef. Sure. I'm, I'm getting to you. I'm, I'm building my way up to you. Um, if, he ran, if he swam for 20 minutes, the same thing. It's 20 times W for the total number of calories from just swimming. Together, he burned 610. Let me stop there for a minute. We've seen this kind of idea several times where it's the Number times the variable, right? 30 minutes of running, so how many total calories? 30 times R, because R is calories per minute. So when I multiply, I'm gonna get a total number of calories. Calories plus calories equals calories. Check. Then on Wednesday, this fool didn't take a day off, like, like I do. Uh, he burned 695 calories, so I know he burned 695 on Wednesday. Doing what? Doing 20 minutes of running. And where are you at? 25. 25. I'm sorry, yeah, thank you. 25 minutes of running. Where do you get 20 from? Oh, there it is. Okay. I love it. And swam for 40 minutes. All right. Now remember, I mean, I'm doing this with you, uh, more at you, uh, but you're gonna have to be able to do this on your own. And you need to, you need to see, now, now I'm doing this problem. I haven't done this problem yet. This is me doing the problem for the first time. And I kind of like doing that when I can, because then you can, I try to show you my thought process. What do I do and when do I do it and why did I do it? Right? So it's not just because teachers look at videos and see how to do every step and then we come in there and we do it. We have to know what the shit we're doing. And it's always interesting to see a teacher approach a problem for the first time. Now, it's always exciting when I make a mistake, but you know, there's a trade off. Um, all right, so now we can, now, what, what is it about these equations you don't like as much as the other ones we've done before this? What sucks about these two equations? Anything or do, are they really nice? Mm -hmm. I think that the fact that they have kind of bigger numbers sucks. Yes? Yes. Anybody agree with me? So I want you to right now get used to this. I, I'm not saying you can always do this, but notice how the first one, can't I divide everything by 10? Because they all end in zero, right? No? Now, now, to be honest, let me, let me stop doing that for a second. So sometimes I could do that, and I could divide this one by five. Do you see that? But, but there is something, and again, I'm doing this live. There's something I just noticed that shows me I don't really need to do that. Oh, there's a little person. I got to be careful. 
my normally colorful language. I have to make it uh, monochrome. Uh, um, which letter wants to die? See, I'm going to just tell you. We're going to do elimination here for damn sure. Because there's no letter I can easily solve to get itself by, by itself, you know. So which letter seems to want to die the easiest? Does anything die if I add these all together? No. Which one is closest to dying? It just needs a little help. Mm, 30 plus 25 odd. What you got, Jamie? W. Yeah, because notice, what would be here to kill this? Multi multiply by negative 2. Yes, because if I had a negative 40 there, that these would kill each other. So this is interesting. You guys, in mathematics, you always feel so constrained. You feel very constrained. Don't do that. You can only do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. Here's a situation where you're like, okay, you got to realize how much freedom you actually have. I can multiply this equation by any damn thing I want to in the whole universe except zero. Too bad. you got to you know, one restraint. Can't use zero. Um, but if I multiply this by negative 2, I get negative 60R negative 40 W and negative 12 20. So why is that better? Now you can eliminate. Yeah, because if I add these two equations together now, the W's die, right? We're like a variable Kevorkian. W wants to die, we let it. So if we add these together, 25R minus 60R is negative 35R. 40W minus 40W cancels. 695 and negative 1220I. I don't know. Shit. What is that, Jeff? Negative 525? Is anybody going to help me out? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me stop there for a minute. Any questions about why I did what I did or anything. I did what I did before math came to town. Sorry, I need a drink. Yeah. You drink out of the bottle, it's less stuff to wash. Um, so now what do I do? I just have to divide by negative 35. Let me see, that's going to be 15. Oh, oh man. Sorry. 15? That's what I got. Okay. I was going to start to do it in my head. Uh, 105, 7, yeah, 15. So 15, what? 15 what? Calories? Nope. That's close. It's part of it. Burn? Per minute. Know. Per minute. So calories per minute for running and for swimming. <laughs> for swimming, how do I figure out? Can you guys see the whole thing? There it is. How do I figure out for swimming? Well, I can put 15 into either one of these. For that, I'm going to need a little more room. I don't know where you guys are with, if you're trying to copy this down. Again, this video will be up on the YouTubes, so you don't have to furiously copy things down. I'm just going to give myself a little more room, so I'm going to assume everything is all right. I, uh, all right. So if I put 15 in here, I can solve for W. Uh, Oh, my brain's not working. 750. Cut in half. 375. What is it? 375? 375, okay. So if I subtract 375 from both sides, I get 320. So if I divide by four, I get 80. So I get 80 calories per minute for swimming. I don't know how accurate that is, but swimming, you got good resistance, so it kind of makes sense. I got eight. Eight? Did I have an extra zero? Yeah, I did have an extra zero. 
Thank you. Okay. Uh, per minute, yes, per minute. Thank you. Oh, can you guys all see that? 15 calories for running, eight calories per minute for swimming. All right. Coolness. Why did I sign so many of these? Oh, past Jeff, you're so evil. How about this? Let's see, what do we have left? So we did 399, 400, 401, 402. So I could do 403, 404, 405 uh, in a video because I kind of want to kill things here. It's almost 1.30. I got a two o'clock meeting as always on Tuesday to get ready for. Um, let me see. So again, look for the video for um, the rest of chapter that review that's up on Canvas. The chapter, what is it? Section four, five to five, six review. It's up on Canvas. I'll put the, the video of those solutions. I'll put the video of this lecture up online. Uh, and I still have to do, I'll make a separate video with uh, 403, 404, and 405 solved. Cool. And let me see, I think most of you guys were here yesterday. Just, just make sure you're up to date with the changes to the syllabus, the fact that there's no more tests, there's only the final and, and a lot more quizzes, that kind of thing. Um, and tomorrow we get that quiz. We got our first uh, COVID quiz tomorrow, the quiz during the time of COVID. Um, you, gotta, you gotta laugh, you, you have to. Uh, okay, anybody, if anybody wants to stick around for a few minutes, you can. Otherwise, you're free to go. Um, and I, normally people just hang out to see what people ask. Kayla, are you all right? Yeah, you're just writing. It looked like you had passed out. Sorry. <laughs> you're all right. um, Make sure we're staying up to date. When should we start working on 6.1? Well, so I'm going to start lecturing on that tomorrow. Okay. So, I mean, if you want to try it out, you can always go get ahead and see how much of it you understand. Um, but I'm officially not going to, oh, did I say anything about due dates for homework yesterday? Uh, I think I said I was going to build them into Canvas. No? You said two days after you. Uh, no, no, no. That's, that's uh, what it was when things were normal. Uh, so it used to be homework was officially due the day of the test. Now there's no tests. And uh, I thought I had talked about it yesterday with you guys. Um, my other class was like, well, what the hell happens now? And I, I said, I have no idea. So I, I'm, if there will be a due date other than the final exam, it will show up in Canvas. Um, and I think for one of my classes, I did put some due dates on some of the homework stuff and the corrections too. So there's a way for you to upload corrections to Canvas. And everybody, did I talk about this earlier? You all have an app for scanning for PDF? Yes, yeah. maybe, maybe. Uh, if you go to Canvas, if you go to Canvas and you see our, our class, on the left side of the screen, there's home and announcements and assignments and discussions and all this shit. If you go down to the one that says pages, it should go directly to a list of apps for iPhone, for Android phone. I can't remember if I have even, is there some other thing? I don't know. That should cover everybody. Um, and then of course, if you have neither one of those, uh, we could try to set something up. You just gotta let me know if you are in a situation where there is no way for you to do that. We need to figure something out. So just let me know. Let me know. Can we just take pictures and email them or? Of the That's, what That's what I'm saying. Uh, if, if you have a smartphone, I, I would much prefer to get them in PDF format because uh, some people have been sending me things that do not open for me. Uh, PDF is basically the format that works across <laughs> all, all platforms. I send, excuse me, I send it in the email, uh, I send the pictures. That's fine. I'll have to see. I, I, I'm catching up with grading stuff in between the couple of other things that I'm doing. Uh, 
some of the images I have graded some already and they're fine, but some of them not too good. So I would much so I would prefer much a PDF. Prefer. Um, and like I said, in Canvas, if you go to pages, it's got a list of all these apps that are very simple. They're free. The one I use on my Android phone is called Tiny Scanner. And you just point it, click, and it becomes a PDF file, which is the easiest file to work with. Okay. Uh, if you want to send me a different format, I can tell you if it looks okay on my side, but PDF's the best. Any other questions about anything? That quiz gonna be tomorrow? Quiz, did I say something about a quiz? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, quiz tomorrow. And then, and then, uh, what did I say? Quiz on Monday after that, right? Yeah. Quiz tomorrow is four, five, five, one. Quiz on Monday is five, two to five, six. Okay. Yeah. And together they would constitute what would have been test three. Okay. I like it. Anything else, guys? Oh, I sit a lot more nowadays. It kind of drives me crazy. Oh, well, I'll be right. All right. So uh, anybody... Is there, everybody's just staying here. You guys can leave now if you want to. Does anybody have a question or something? Let me know. People are dropping. It's like popping bubbles. Pop, 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 pop. Kyle's gone. No, Kyle's, he's trying to leave. There he is. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You're very welcome. I'll see you bye. tomorrow. Have a good day, okay, bye. Hopefully the 20 other students Show up somewhere. All right. See you. It's just me and Nada. All right. Bye.